Hey guys, the other day I got a new diamond painting and I'm going to open this up today and show you guys which one I got and some of the stuff that comes along with it. Uh, I, I did an unboxing of another Dreamer Designs <clears throat> diamond painting, but it was a small one. This is probably the, the same stuff, but I'm going to open it up anyway because one, I really like Dreamer Designs and I like doing unboxing things. So let me show you. Let me show it to you. First of all, I like the way that these come packaged. Um, there, there, there are other companies that also package their diamond paintings very well like this and nice hard boxes. Uh, one that we got from Hobby Lobby was packaged like this. Nice shiny stuff and it even has a handle. So I guess if you wanted to store your diamond painting back in this box and carry it around with you to your next place or whatever, you can do it. You can keep them in the boxes until you're ready to do your diamond painting. So if you have a bunch of them, you can keep them all stored in here until you're ready to pull them out and start to work on them. Another thing I really like is inside the box, they put your diamond painting and everything in this nice bag. So you could put that, use this to store stuff in. So the one I got is a large one and I'm not gonna unroll it, but they give you the canvas tied up with a nice little bow. Um, I'll show you the picture on the box at the end. I'm not gonna unroll this canvas yet, but it is a large one. It's a 60 by 80, I think. Uh, and then you of course get your drills. And this one has a lot of them. So large package of drills. Uh, there was one thing I didn't mention in my Victoria's Moon review that I did like about theirs. If you if you can see these, these come in little packages that you actually have to cut them open, and you can't really keep the drills in these. But Victoria's Moon, all of their drills were already in little Ziploc bags. So. Each, bag, each color had its own bag already. They were already stored nice. You didn't have to worry about separating them out or any of that. They were already labeled. That was fantastic. That was probably one of the things I, I liked most and I should have put it in that review, but that was one of the things I liked most about Victoria's Moon. And last is the kit here, which this bag is fantastic. I love this bag. It's, it's very soft and I like soft things. But inside you get two trays. Nice logos on. So I'm building up a good collection of trays now. Uh, you get two little grips to go on your pins because you also get two, two pins. Oh good. I had heard about this one. So they send you one with a metal tip and one with a plastic tip. And if you're doing a piece with AB drills, which are the little bit shinier, a little iridescent uh, drills, I have heard from other people that this plastic tip with the wax works fantastic because this metal tip, the, the wax will actually stick to the AB drills and come out of your metal tip, or you'll have a hard time picking them up. But with this plastic tip, apparently it works a lot better. Uh, I do have another thing that I got actually from Victoria's Moon, but I've seen these for sale in other places too. These pins that have just a blob of wax on this end, I've heard that these are really good for AB drills too, but I haven't tried it out yet. Uh, I'm gonna try that on my small painting, my small uh, Dreamer Designs painting I have. Two different pins, two grips. Uh, you get this really awesome set of tweezers. I love these tweezers. They're, they got some strength to them. Really nice small tip. Love these tweezers. And you get two, whoa, almost dropped it. Two little round containers of the wax for your pins. And there's more. You do get some Ziploc bags that you can use. Uh, generally, this isn't enough for all of your colors, but I, I have a case that I store all my drills in now anyway. So any drills that don't fit in the case, I'll put in these extra bags and then I'll probably have some left over that I can save for my next painting. And they kind of, they'll build up. 
or you can just go buy some little uh, jewelry Ziploc bags. Those work great too. And then you have some extra tips for your uh, pen. You have a three placer. I believe this one is either a, a six or eight. Looks like it'll do, I don't know, it'll do at least six. And a straightener tool. I actually, I do not use the three or six placers. Um, I like to put mine down one at a time. Uh, and the straightener tool, I really haven't had a use for that yet. I don't know if it's because I place them so straightly or, or what, but or because it doesn't really matter to me that much if they're perfectly straight because once you get all your drills put on your painting and you, look, you get it on the wall you're not going to notice if they're unless they're just really 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 bad out of line you're not going to notice when you look at it unless you get right up on it so oh i haven't shown you which one this is yet so this painting is boathouse i'm Really excited to get started on this, but I do need to finish my small Dreamer Designs painting first. So once I, I, I may do a paint along on that, on one of my lives or something. You know, maybe next Sunday I'll do a Dreamer Designs paint along. So y'all can come hang out and chat while I work on my diamond painting, because I do need to get that one done. And then I can get some space cleared out and start working on this, this humongous one because I do tend to like the bigger ones. They're, they're, they tend to be a lot more detailed. And I think this one is a round drill. Let me see. Yeah, this one has round drills uh, and they, they go a lot faster than square drills. I like square drills. I don't really find them to be that much more difficult, but they are slower because you do have to get them positioned just right. Uh, the round drills, you can just plop them down because there's no position to them. Anyway, that was the unboxing of this. I, I really like Dreamer Designs. Right now, they're probably my favorite diamond painting company. So I'm going to put a link to them down below in the description. Go check them out. Uh, they do have a few diamond paintings that you can get for free, uh, but you do have to pay for shipping. So they come out to about nine dollars nine or ten dollars for a diamond painting and it's a small one uh, i did do a video i'll try to put the the link up here to that of uh, unboxing of the free one that i got and i was very impressed with the packaging on it as well it was pretty much the same as this just smaller so check them out you know, try out the free one uh, it's ten dollars for for a good one and, I, and i'll tell you this you can go find a cheap $10 diamond painting on Amazon or somewhere else and get free shipping. So it's about the same price, but this one is going to be a lot better quality. So check them out. Try the free diamond painting. Uh, I'll post those links down in the description below. Um, if you enjoyed this video, then give it a like. Uh, be sure and subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you know when I post new videos and when I go live because my live times right now are not always set in stone. And I do have a buy me a coffee page down below. You can check that out if you want to help support the channel. And I'm still working on my Patreon. So if you guys have any uh, suggestions on rewards for the Patreon page, let me know in the comments down below. And I'll talk to you guys next time.